So yes, the title indicates, as I said, living well is the best revenge. Don't ever forget that. That's really what comes to it. That you are getting over it or her mostly and um, getting resources that are you know better and uh, more that you accumulate yourself and uh, not by your hair her whim because she's probably <coughs> the reason why you had had so little in the first place but here goes I've heard the phrase a lot of times uh, in recent months in reference to how I should be conducting myself mid-divorce. I have to say for the longest time I felt like utter nonsense. Now, the best revenge would be spray painting profanities on her car and sleep around with her best friend. A lot of thoughts like, like this crossed my mind no doubt until today. <clears throat> yeah, and I've seen people who are writing profanities on the uh, on cars and um, yeah it, lo it looks crap and they uh, you, you get a problem with with it why who and why but anyway we started eight weeks ago I started the paperwork the literally day I found out that she'd been um, been out been out sleeping with at least two per people and lead me on trying for the <clears throat> me and my English and lying about it for eight weeks ago. Um, last week she moved into a house with yet a man that lived together and feels a bit fast. No, well, she abandoned you uh, mentally months ago, it could be half a year ago. Um, so she immensely, she is, she is not there. It is only her spirit that is there. You could say so. Um, so yeah. Um, while she was moving in, she met her parents who are both old and weak <coughs> and ill. Come up, um, come up. Uh, come load up all her stuff from my, our house, my house, <coughs> because when she left, she took only her clothes. That's a bit odd. As I helped them load all of it, both her mother and father started to cry. Her mother spoke the words, oh my God, my daughter. And she cried, she said to me, if you get the sense that we are effing angry. It is not you, honey. <coughs> well, last week was also my week with uh, our old, uh, with our eight-year-old son. So he didn't know they lived together. <laughs> uh, that's um, that's that's a bit fast. I say that always. To, take consideration about your kids first of all and I know from personal experience um, what's, uh, da, 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 uh, uh, yes let us see what has happened um, so we don't know they live uh, live together He'd been living with mo her mom's new friend, in parentheses. He found out today and when he did, he made her bring him back to me. He told her he wanted me and cried and yelled until she acquiesces. When she dropped him off, she looked miserable, so sad and hurt, and, and God, he sh he deserve it. she deserved it. I beg her to stay, pleaded with her, try to cons con uh, 
counseling with me. She refused. I quit drinking, lost 40 pounds, got into a healthy sleep routine. She still refuses. So she should uh, refused. Uh, she had other things she wanted to do. She took the, uh, the good car and her clothes and left me with her parents with 10 years worth of her life. It doesn't mean anything. If, if she leaves, leaves. Um, doesn't matter if you have kids and so on. And it is what it is. Um, she, uh, what does that mean? Um, no, okay, yeah. She uprooted my family when I was there, willing to do to do anything to make her love me again. You can't force it. You can, uh, it's like uh, taking a horse to the trough and uh, you can make it drink if it doesn't want to. Um, she was out sleeping around and my son and I went home crying. Now that's, you shouldn't do that in front of your, your kid. But today she, she walked into my house my clean, tidy, organized house and had to see her son run to me and immediately feel better. She had had to see me thin and sober and energetic. Take him in, in my arms and comfort him like she couldn't. She had to drive away alone and walk into her new house with her new man and know that it would never be like a family. We had the family she destroyed. And my son and I ate a healthy meal together and we brushed our teeth together and then I read to him uh, from his favorite Goosebump book and tucked him in, in bed. There was never ever in my entire life been so sweet the feeling of pure utter satisfaction in knowing that no one matter how um, how awful she chose uh, to be I rose above and I took the high road at every turn you should when life got hard I got better and the whole world can see her parents see this see it as she can't my son can see it, and I can see it, and there is no one in the world I ever cry about what I am doing with my life. Um, I'm, he I'm here to tell you that living well truly is the best revenge. Are you sad, angry, hateful? Do, do, uh, do you want to see the whole will burn and and it is his and her fault take that and turn it into something dope the sadness is my motivator to work out the anger is my motivator to fight the hunger pangs and keep dieting the hate an incredible good thing to remind me why i do not drink uh, just live well no matter what happens, live well and the world will see it and it will not go unrewarded. Today I got an extra day in my life with my boy. Be worth it. Live well is truly the best re revenge. Yeah, that's, um, that's how it is. It's the best revenge. Period. I know for a fact. That's it. Like and subscribe.